welcome to Bailey Tolliver RV in Brownfield. We are just 30 miles southwest of Lubbock, Texas. All right, well, we're over here this morning. Uh, we want to look at another lightweight Arcadia fifth wheel. Um, towable with a half ton if you've got the right equipment on your half ton truck. Definitely a three quarter ton or one ton. Won't even know you're towing this thing. That's exactly right. See, this is a 27 SBH. A SBA? SBA, okay. SBH. Nice, That nice, means nice. 27 Arcadia Select bunkhouse. Okay. And this is different than any bunkhouse you've ever seen before. Well, why is that? How many bunks have you ever seen in a trailer before? Um, I don't know, four. Yeah. This is three double over double over double. Really? Yeah. Cool. This is like a high rise. Okay, I'm so forward to that. think about that. You got to see that. Man, take a look at that painted front cap. I'm looking at that and I'm looking at this silver thing up there too. That would be a 220 watt solar panel, Steve. Okay, so I guess that's why we got power going on over here on this light strip. Anything that is 12 volts, so all of my lights, my awning, my slides, those will all operate just off the of the solar. Refrigerator is a 12 volt direct current that operates off the solar. Okay. Amazing concept, isn't it? So we've got uh, landing gear on the front. Yes, sir. And we got power stabilizers. Power on the stabilizers back. on the back. Let's get a closer look at some of this stuff here. Man, that is probably one of the biggest battery boxes I've ever seen in my life. Well, it'll hold two batteries. Okay. That's for sure. And then you got a spare tire, and then you still got some room in there for a toolbox if you're taking some tools and stuff like that with you. See you a big a battery road, disconnect hidden up in there. Road armor. Nice. That's got the rubber motor mount looking thing in there, right? So it kind of takes some of the chucking, takes the chucking out, of it. out when you stop. Hey, do you travel when you and Deb go? Do you travel with the corgis? Uh, we do. Man, this is a great thing right here. Just oh. hook their leash up to it, let them run around outside. You don't have to worry about chasing them around the campground. Oh, I like that. I guess that would be propane on each side. Propane over there. on either side, yes, sir. You got your pass through storage over here. And uh, we'll come around on the other side and get a, a quick look at something I want to point out to you that's very cool on this other side over here. You also have the black tank flush over here. Plus, so you're not kneeling down and climbing underneath the trailer, you got your pole for the black tank and gray tank. Frameless windows. Man, somebody asked me yesterday, people about that 21 SRK, that was the one thing he asked me. He says, how come all the rest of these have frames around them and the least expensive trailer you have out here has frameless windows? It's a bargain. Man, I'm telling you what, they're much more efficient, much cleaner looking, that dark 80% tent on them. We got cable. Slide People driven slides. So basically even tension going out and in, kind of the best system out there. I you think. One thing I figured out on those windows yesterday, O2, is great. If you look at the top of these things, these are hinged up top. So I can still open them, even though I'm not framed. You know, you're used to having these things, you slide yeah, back and yeah. forth, these will still open up so I can get a nice cross ventilation going from here to the Plus you know, if kitchen. it's raining, you're not gonna get any water coming exactly inside right. either, right? Cool. Well, I go. think we should go inside, take Let's a look, see what it looks like inside of it. Oh wow. First thing you notice is how white and light and bright it is in here. I like those colors of those cabinets. That, that's wood. That is not part of the board with the uh, wallpaper on it. I got screws, glue. Wow. Strong, right, strong there's no, construction. No paper to come off those things. Those are great. I A like lot of that. cabinets too, but look at that. Lots of cabinet space. Nice. Underneath the yep. drawers, you got all of this over here as well. So I guess they kind of did it very interestingly to not have a big bulky pantry in the way. You've got a lot of room to use as, uh, as pantry throughout this thing. Nice stainless nice steel. Nice storage over here. And again, I like they did the color change. And again, solid. There is no, there is no wallpaper on this stuff. Mirror to make this look a little bit bigger. Small, lightweight trailer that does a bunch of things. It's got a tri-fold sleeper sofa, not a jackknife. So it opens up twice, back folds down. Makes I a full-size bed. I can sleep on one of these. As, look at the size of this U-shaped dinette. This also converts into a bed. So if you were telling me that we got three so I'm trying to do the bunks. math here real quick. So let's think about this. I got a U-shaped dinette that makes a bed. I got uh -huh. a tri-fold sofa that makes a bed. Uh -huh. I got three double over double bunks. And then I got a bed up front. What does this thing slip? Like 10, 12, 15, yeah. something like that? You can sleep up to 12. I wouldn't want to be in here with 12 people, but good grief, man. If you got to take the grandkids on the trip, here you go. Well, and then what Play I like anymore. about the bottom bunk on this thing, as you notice, as David panned down, it's open on the end. So if somebody's not sleeping on that bottom bunk, that's just more storage. And then I've got the nice storage up top. Little hanging area for the kids' clothes. Those. What a trailer for a group of of a nice big family. Well, you know the best part about a nice big family, they eat a lot of food. Yeah. 10 cubic feet, 12 volt direct current refrigerator. 
Yep. Not taking up any more space than the original, you know, RV fridge. But if you're going to carry this many people, you better have some room inside Definitely. the fridge and inside the freezer. Yeah. So we have the Blade air conditioning system in here. Nice. This is a 50 amp trailer. Um, and with this size, uh, that 15,000 BTU air conditioner will probably get you all through. But just in case not, up front is pre-wired for a second air conditioner. So Put like a 13.5 dump yeah. in there so you can control just the bedroom. That's so a nice so idea. You can hang meat in there if you want to. You could. <laughs> you could. Yeah. Along, we got TV. We have a stereo system over here. The Indoor, outdoor speakers. Yeah. The usual type of uh, Furion. We've got a three burner cooktop with an oven. We've got a microwave. We've got a fan that's a vent hood fan with a light in it. Um, this just, man, I'm blown away. I don't know what else to say about this. I really love this floor plan. And uh, it just, to me, it does, hits all the buttons. Plus, light enough that I could actually tow this with my half ton truck. Man, Steve, I was going to say, with all that room in the back for everybody, I bet you got a small bathroom and a small bedroom, because, I mean, you can't get that much place for beds if you're going to give up room somewhere. Well, doesn't give it up in here. A nice, good-sized shower, vanity, porcelain toilet, all kinds of goodies. Then you come into the bedroom. Full-sized, residential, queen bed. And uh, as usual, you do have lots of storage underneath. It's on shocks to hold it up, so you don't need to juggle trying to hold up a bed and a mattress and all that kind of stuff. You've got storage, uh, both corners. You've got across the top. Then as a special bonus over here, you've got this huge closet with three large drawers. And look at that. What an amazing, amazing setup. And we've talked about, we've got the blade air conditioning system here. Uh, this is pre-wired. If you wanted to put a second air conditioner, it would go right here. I got enough room that I can stand up over here and I'm right at six foot tall. Got that one step over here. This is a low profile fifth wheel. So I think you ought to come out to Brownfield, which is 30 minutes southwest of Lubbock, Texas. All right. And this is Marcus. I'm Steve. And together we are the, the RV, RV Ninjas. Ninjas.